One group is working to reduce child asthma rates in Arlboro. Asthma free school zone is testing the impact traffic and vehicle idling has on the air around Brooklyn schools. After testing around the PS275, they say stoplights need to be adjusted to improve the flow of traffic. Bushwick and bed have the highest hospitalization rates of child asthma in the city, according to the Department of Health. One group is doing what it can to make an improvement. News 12's Catherine Turner has more on measuring the air quality around schools. Um, we have a couple categories that we like to keep track of, including the buses that pass by, just to keep tabs on what kind of cars, um, whether they're diesel engines or not. By observing traffic patterns, the nonprofit Asthma Free School Zone is trying to monitor what's in the air. They've been standing outside PS 274 for about three weeks taking notes. We're counting the cars that are idling every minute, and then we take our samples every minute, and we can look at the correlation between the, uh, the traffic and the idling. They've even equipped the school crossing guard with a PM 2.5 monitor, measuring the amount of air particulates resulting from car exhaust that they say can be a precursor and a trigger to asthma. When I started seeing the numbers, it did kind of frighten me a little bit, yeah. From 2 p.m. to 3.30 on Monday, the group found that 17 vehicles idled. That means keeping the engine running while the car is stopped for a total of 85 minutes. 251 trucks and buses drove past the school, along with almost 2,000 cars. The group says that a big part of the problem is all the idling the cars do at the stoplights. They say a goal is to get the DOT to change the light schedules to keep the cars moving. Once the three-week testing period is over, they'll go to the schools, talk to the administrators, teachers, and parents to tell them what they can do to improve the air quality. Then, exactly one year later, they'll come back and do all the testing again to see what's improved. Reporting from Bushwick, Catherine Turr, News 12 Brooklyn. The group says the exhaust from ice cream truck generators don't make things any better. They are looking to the government for regulations on the trucks waiting outside of schools.